what's going on with y'all fam we back with another message back with another video y'all tap in tune in lock in press the subscribe button hit the notification bell so every time i upload you get notified man if you're new to the channel i thank you for joining the family if you haven't heard my music i am an artist i do create music for the kingdom man to inspire you um encourage you motivate you on a low day if you haven't heard it i have a um couple albums out now i have boundless out if you guys haven't heard boundless that's my first album i released last october and i also just recently released hidden hills it's on all platforms man today's message and video sabotage and scapegoating sabotage and scapegoating man this is something that each and every chosen one is going to experience at some point in their journey unfortunately but it's the truth so this video right here is going to resonate with a lot of people you know god just had me writing stuff down he's making me realize things first thing i want to say as well before i really get into this is all praises honor and glory to the most high god he has provided made a way for me to be able to have a place for the next month so you guys will be seeing me i know you guys have been commenting on the background you guys will be seeing me here um you know uploading because God made a way. I just want to give him, you know, praise and glory and honor, man. Without you guys, without um, the channel doing what it's doing and him just, you know, blessing my life, you know, I wouldn't have this roof. And I'm thankful and I'm grateful. Uh, for those of you guys asking about Storm as well, I'm going to go live. You know, we can do a Q&A here in the next couple of days. But I really want to get into this message and topic, man. Scapegoating and sabotage. When you wake up, chosen one. When you wake up... Your eyes are open and the scales are lifted off your eyes. You automatically alert this matrix. Okay. Spirits get alerted. This is a spiritual walk. You got to understand. I know a lot of people out there are like first waking up and they don't understand why everything's changing up. Why people are switching up. People might start treating you different. Things start falling apart in your life. It's because the demonic realm has been notified that there is a another person that is waking up to the truth and they want to groom you to get into darkness to stay in the darkness right so when you wake up to the truth scapegoating and sabotage a lot of us as chosen ones we were burst into um a mindset of people pleasing right we were burst into being the scapegoat of our bloodline of our family of our neighborhood of our school whatever it may have looked like the scapegoat the one that everybody wants to pick on and push um you know push around and bully and, and push their sins onto them and, and really just persecute and, and kind of you know come up against for various different reasons the first reason is your light okay these people have seen your light even prior to you waking up these people have seen your light since the start you're different you're empathetic you may stand out you may have some unique qualities and traits about you that others are jealous of that others wish they could obtain and they desire to have these things so they'll begin to sabotage your life, right? The first thing that may happen, this is something, this is kind of just based on my life, but when I started to rely on God and not my own understanding, I started to experience sabotage in every area of my life from those around me, and it was behind scenes, right? It was even people I didn't know, you know, firsthand. But sabotage of the workplace, friendships, right? The devil is crafty, man. He gets people to switch on you. God also removes people out of your life. Friendships, family, finances, housing situations. All of these things begin to, um, you know, become under attack by the kingdom of darkness, by these demons and these devils and these evildoers out here who are working in darkness behind the scenes to destroy you for waking up to the truth. Being unique, being chosen, being set apart, being different. Like I said, it doesn't even have to be anything super deep. I've done a video on this before. If you have a big passion in life and you're good at it, if you look good, if you if you if you feel good, if you carry yourself a certain way, this alone can cause people to try to attack your life and destroy you. You have the gift of gab, you're well spoken, you can talk to people, you can relate to people, you have a nice smile. I mean, you can break this stuff down to the littlest, smallest things. People will begin to try to sabotage your life. And now when you wake up, it's a whole different level. Like I said, the matrix gets alerted. The spiritual realm gets alerted, right? And this is since the day we were born, right? God says he knew, he knew you before you were in your mother's womb. 
But when you wake up, it's at a certain, everyone's at a certain, you know, different timelines, different, different timelines, a certain age, whenever, whatever it looks like for you, right? So the more reliant that you become on God's understanding, meaning the word of God, you know, how he communicates to you, your relationship with the Holy Spirit, his instructions for your life, the more reliant you become on that and not man or woman's perception and, and um, you know, the way that they want you to view things in life, very carnal. It goes like this. You go you go to school this long and then you don't do that and you do this and you don't talk about this and you talk about that and you don't do this. Right. But you just they start to despise your independence that God starts to provide for you. Right. We are dependent on God for all things, but you can become independent in this reality. People hate to see a chosen one who's out here, not only full of peace, happiness, and love, but is not dependent on anybody but the Most High God. You see, and this is exactly where God wants all of us, right? And it can be a process because like I said, when we were younger, we were groomed. We, a lot of us were scapegoats since birth. A lot of us were, um, you know, people pleasers, people pleasers, right? We were, um, you know, prime pray for a narcissist for narcissists to abuse us and try to control and manipulate us they don't want you to have no freedom in christ they don't want you to have no peace or rest when you wake up as a chosen one okay sabotage is something you're gonna understand and begin to i don't want this for anybody but it is just what happens right sabotage man like i said it can be for little small things bro sis it don't have to be for nothing big you could do something really well and somebody else doesn't like that you do something really well and they decide to start spreading rumors and lies and slander your name and try to attack you, you know, um, behind closed doors, start group messages, rumors, try to set you up. All these things are real out here, man. Also, you're going to have the devil trying to attack you. You're going to have the devil whispering in people's ears around you. You're going to have these demons inhabiting these people, right? whispering in their ear that's what he does he, he that's what he did to eve in the garden he whispered in her ear to convince her to do something that god said not to do this is what happens to you chosen one when you wake up because the kingdom of darkness and the devil knows that you're a threat the closer you get to god the more reliant you become on him and not anything else not man not woman not this system okay not these work these 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 um you know works environments and situations that they try to put us in right these slave trade jobs these these jobs that are low wage hard pay, you know what i mean just absolutely um trying to train us up to become slaves man they need us to need the system you see but god's word tells us right and this is a scripture i'm going to leave i wanted to leave off with it but i'm just going to go ahead and recite it now god's word tells us this matthew 6 26 says behold the fowls of the air, for they sow not, neither do they reap, nor gather into barns. Yet your heavenly Father feedeth them. Are you not better than they are in God's eyes? So God's basically saying, this is KJV. And I know a lot of people have a hard time reading KJV. I myself um, have a hard time reading it out loud, but I understand it. So God feeds the birds, the bugs, the everything on this planet, man. And they don't have to sow or reap it. They don't have to sit here and work 72 hours a, a week, 500 hours a week. No, God will provide, especially when, it's, when it comes to his will and purpose being done in your life. You see, Babylon doesn't want you understanding this. Yes, we are in Babylon. I call America Babylon because it's just the truth. This place is a joke to the most high, the way it's set up. All the way from the top to the bottom, this place is a joke. It's a disgrace, okay? I know people got to do what they got to do to feed their families. And I'm not trying to attack those people, but I'm letting you know now, if you have a purpose on your life and you have um, something that you are passionate about that God has approved of and you don't know how it's going to look or work, just know that he will provide. He will make a way and they don't want you to notice. The system doesn't want you to notice. Like I said, they don't want you to be independent, right? We're never truly independent, but we become dependent on God, which gives us independence in this realm, right? Freedom, peace seasons of rest, seasons of healing, things that people can't have when they're out here working 24 seven, doing something they hate, feeling empty, right? Consumed in sin and lust, consumed in all these things that are not in the most high, most highest plans for their life. You know, they want you out here unmotivated and depressed, working for another man, 
um, making low wages, not knowing what you're here to do, feeling empty, feeling like you don't matter, unimportant, not having a relationship with God, not seeking righteousness, not um, speaking the truth, doing it boldly, not getting into relationship, not turning away from your sin. And I'm just cutting up on this video and keeping it raw and real, man, straight up. A lot of people will take offense to anybody who wants to exit the system. This is what happens as a chosen one. I know for me, for instance, when I was 19, I remember I said, I'm never going to work a nine to five ever again in my life. And I spoke that out loud and there were a few people around me and I could tell the energy shift that happened. I could tell the way that they felt about me saying that they took offense to me wanting to better my life and do what I'm called to do and, and what I was put here to do, which is motivate, inspire, you know, make music, preach, and, and, and let God use me to inspire others, right? To get into relationship with him, to seek out all that he has for you guys. A lot of people will get offended though, man. When you have a passion, when you have purpose, most people don't have that. Most people are floating through reality and just doing as they're told. Doing what they, it's the programming that happens, right? You begin to want to live and work for God when you get into relationship with him. You begin to want to do his work and his will, not Pharaoh's work and Babylon's work. This pointless, mindless work out here that a lot of us, you know, this is this is what we're offered because of the way the system's set up. Right. A lot of people are going to take offense to you, chosen one. Like I said, it's sabotage, scapegoating, man. They don't like the fact that you dream big, that you have passion, you have purpose, you have a deeper understanding of um, reality, you have some knowledge. Like I said, it can be it can be deep stuff or it can be simple stuff. Like I said, it goes deep as the devil waging war, right? Demons accessing people around you, him planting seeds in people's heads, or it can be something as subtle and light as people don't. You have a nice smile and they don't like it. You have a talent that that they wish they could have. You've elevated and did the diligent work in, in one area of your life and your business is now um, successful. You know, just simple, subtle things. Yo, you, oh, you look a certain way. You look good. Not only do you look good, but you're living good. You're living righteously. That's like illegal in 2023. They think anybody out here who's, you know, um, beautiful or handsome is um, going to be on their team right the kingdom of darkness is team the devil wants everybody at the end of the day but especially if you look good if you feel good if you have purpose if you have passion you're motivated and you're free oh yeah you best believe you're gonna have people try to sabotage you right treat you like the scapegoat always try to um you know make you feel less than always just try to sabotage everything around you attack your relationships friendships new um things that may god be maybe sending into your life business partners all these different things will become you know, um, under attack by the kingdom of darkness. A lot of this stuff looks like physical, you know, monitoring and stocking. Some of this stuff um, is mental warfare, spiritual warfare, temptations, you know, things going on around you that is unexplainable, spiritual stuff, demons entering into your room, um, witchcraft happening, right? Sickness, nausea, all these things are real. And the kingdom of darkness will do this to you as the chosen one and those around you. When they can't get to you anymore, when the devil knows he can't play with you no more, he's going to start playing with those around you, man. So he can he can get to you um, somehow, some way. When he realizes you're too strong, you're just gonna fast, you're just gonna pray, you're just gonna uh, surrender to God every time he sends an attack at you and keep going. When he realizes this, he's gonna attack the things that's closest around you. This is why a lot of the times God likes us to be isolated and not have any attachments because the devil will attack whatever's attached to you that's close to your heart. And if that person isn't in the right standing with God or understands spiritual warfare, they can flip and turn on you. Like I said, love turns into envy and jealousy overnight due to these things. We're living in a spiritual world, man. Sabotage is real. It's something that goes down. It's a lot of, you know, unfortunately, a lot of us have experienced it. No weapon formed against us shall prosper, though. And if you have a purpose and a will, I mean, if you have purpose in life, you know, and you step into God's will um, for your life, just know, like I said, Matthew 6, 26, he feeds the birds, man. He feeds everything. I let my story be a testimony to you. I stepped out in faith five years ago. I've worked a couple jobs on and off, but the whole time God has provided through others. God has allowed others to help, you know, um, and, and bless me and also provided for me, you know, in various subtle little ways in order to um, keep me afloat and sustain this channel and, and keep going, you know, for what he called me to do. He provided the entire time. Now I'm sitting here. You know what I mean? It's a blessing, man. Let this let this motivate you. If you have a purpose, you feel like you want to do something and God's telling you to do it, but you don't have the you know provision or this or that, just trust God, man. He feeds the birds. Like I said, like Matthew says, you know, he feeds everything, man. You mean way much, way more to him 
then 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 that does you know what i mean anything that is not um you know these these are things that don't really necessarily have like a purpose right you got to get away from the folks when you start to speak like this too say you try to share something with somebody say i don't want to work this nine to five no i don't want to work here i want to do this i want to start my own business i want to do this i want to preach i want to teach i want to be a, a become a minister whatever it may look like for you i don't care what it is i don't care what it is right and if if people want to walk away from you or overlook you right or begin to sabotage, let these people go let these people go let them walk away this is something that i didn't learn you know uh, fast enough unfortunately i tried to hold on to people who were trying to literally leave my life because i didn't understand it early on right there was people who were mistreating me treating me like a doormat you know coming and going hot and cold and i was holding on for dear life thinking that this was i could i could um you know get these people to see my worth in christ and get get these people to understand my vision they're not going to see your vision if they don't believe in you if they don't see your vision if they don't respect you if they don't applaud you right for stepping into purpose for stepping into healing for stepping into growing right they want to try and downplay you all the time and, and make you feel like you're just another number like you know and because they have that mindset in life they have that perception in life. They have that perception, you know, that reality of, the, of thinking like, hey, I'm just another number. I don't mean anything. All my suffering is purposeless. See, that's the difference, chosen one. You turn your suffering and your pain into purpose or you're getting ready to, right? Depending on where you're at. You need to learn to turn the pain into purpose. Everything you've experienced, let God, you know, work with you through that so you can go and reach, reach others, man, and help others and understand that, you know, and give them Christ. The ultimate solution to all problems man you got to get away from folks who don't celebrate you man who don't like when you are doing things different these are the these are the agent smiths right if you've seen the, the movie the matrix this is the agent smiths man you got to get away from the agent smiths out here who are programmed they're, they're under that program of just you know work eat sleep you don't mean anything do do the things you hate don't live for god don't seek out um a higher calling in life don't seek out a greater purpose don't get into passion be another number shut down you know sit down and shut up work your little job and, and and that's all there is to it you know but you could feel a tug on your soul or you could feel like you know you just have a knowing like i'm supposed to be doing something great man in whatever field that is for you right because god can use all things for his glory in everything you do right and that's not to discredit like you know make anybody feel bad for you know working a nine to five maybe that is you know maybe it's something you enjoy there's nothing wrong with that if god gets glory out of it and, and you um, you know, you, he uses you in that area, then, then, you know, that's your purpose and your calling. But for the ones that want to be business owners and step out and, you know, have, um, you know, freedom and, and be able to, you know, um, really walk not only in purpose, but in freedom when it comes to the restraints that this system puts on you, man, don't let these people, you know, make you feel like, oh, you need to just sit down and shut up and be miserable with us. You don't matter. A lot of people suffer and don't do anything with it. They don't do anything. They just suffer and suffer and suffer and suffer, right? This is what I did for a long time until I turned that suffering into purpose. Now I did, I've done this channel now for five years. You know, 690 videos uploaded, two albums, 159 songs. Bought all my own equipment, you know what I'm saying? Invested in self. You gotta turn, you gotta turn your, your um, you know, your suffering into purpose, man. Your pain into purpose. A lot of people will downplay you, man. A lot of people wanna sabotage your life because you have those, you have the qualities and the traits that they, they have, but they're buried or they just will never obtain them because they're not gonna be able to break through their program. They're not gonna wake up. They're not gonna understand this on a deeper level, man. You know, I can get into a whole nother discussion about how we have dominion. You know, and I spoke on it a little bit in, you know, I think two videos back or a video back. But basically, God gives you dominion over this earth, right? God gave Adam dominion over the earth until the sin was committed and that was stripped away from them, right? You remain in a place of obedience and you're doing the will of God and you have a purpose on your life, a calling on your life. God will provide for you in every way possible. He will make it happen, right? Don't try to figure it out like I have for a long time. Don't sit there and doubt yourself or doubt God or doubt purpose because people have placed this this within you since we were children, right? People have groomed all of us to be scapegoats and people pleasers and yes men and yes women. And we're supposed to just do what we're told all the time by man, by woman. That's not how it works. We have dominion as children of God here. Not only to trample on serpents and scorpions, right? 
but we have dominion to bring forth the kingdom of God back to earth by starting kingdom business, by inspiring people to step into their passion and their purpose. It's a domino effect out here, y'all. They don't want you living like this, though. Like I said, they don't. That's why you get sabotaged. That's why your life gets under attack. You know, it's under attack the way it is by the demonic realm, by narcissistic people, by society as a whole. Because a lot of folks are just under that program to see, okay, we're going to attack anything that doesn't make sense to us that goes against our programming. That's what it is. A lot of folks are just programmed and groomed. And if they see you as the chosen one, right, they feel your presence when you step in. You're something different, right? They know you got something up your sleeve that they can't comprehend. You're doing things a little bit different, whatever it may be. And their programming gets challenged, right? People attack what they don't understand. People can't comprehend, you know, the levels and depths that maybe you can that are around you. So these people are going to try to sabotage you. And like I said, it doesn't even have to be that deep. For me, you know, I've been talented as, a, as an artist since I was 15 years old. People hated that about me. Everybody around me subtly hated that about me. And I didn't even realize it until I got older. You know, um, jealousy, man. Jealousy is the root of all evil. The love of money is as well, but jealousy, I think, is more every day that I'm living, I'm realizing envy is the root of all evil. God's reiterated in my spirit over and over and over. Envy is the root of all evil, right? This is why the scapegoating happens and the sabotage happens. It's to keep you under control, man. They don't want you stepping out, doing something different, something full of purpose, something that makes you feel fulfilled, right? And free and at peace and happy, right? God wants that for you, right? He also wants the glory from it. He has that for each and every person, man. But a lot of people just refuse to tap into that. A lot of people idolize fear. A lot of people don't want to let go of the matrix, right? They want to, they're okay with working for Babylon Pharaoh, right? They're okay with working for, you know, the B system. They're okay with the perks and the way that this matrix is set up. They're going to take the mark, right? If you want to get down to the nitty gritty, when that time comes, they're going to take the mark so they can buy a loaf of bread out the store. You know, these people are programmed. A lot of folks around you are programmed. And also the ones that aren't programmed that are on the dark side, right? there, Because there are people who are awake and they're in darkness. They don't like that you're awake and you're in the light. Okay. These are your witches and your warlocks. These are your secret societies. These are your sororities. These are all your little, you know, um, little groups of hyenas, man. That's what I like to see them as, little groups of hyenas in the jungle, man, right? They don't like the fact that you are, not only are you awake, but you're now, wherever you're at in your walk, you're repenting daily. You're trying to strive to, um, you know, fulfill God's purpose and will in your life. You're laying down some sins. You're trusting God more and more. They don't want to see this for you. The devil does not want to see this. So he's going to access these folks to try to sabotage and destroy these things, right? They don't want you having no financial freedom, no peace, no rest. Narcissists hate when you rest and self-care. They hate that more than anything else, man, because your strength comes from the most high. Your strength is supernatural, and they know. You know, like I said in my last video, sometimes all we need is a little nap and some self-care, right? Sometimes all you really need to do is step out in faith and get in the purpose to feel that sense of fulfillment, to shake off that depression, to shake off that anxiety, to shake off those things that you're, you know, you've been toiling with for years and years and years and years, and you can't understand why. It's because... God is tugging on you, man. He's wanting you to get into purpose and passion. And this matrix is trying to sabotage that. Right? We got to let people go. We ain't here to please people, man. If they ain't celebrating your wins, if they ain't celebrating what you got going on in life, just because if it doesn't, you know, line up to what what they think should be going on in your life and it, and it challenge, makes them upset and starts challenging them, get away from these folks. Get away from them, man. I don't care who it is. It can be a best friend of 20 years. Cut them off. If they ain't celebrating what you got going on, if they're not happy for you, if they're not encouraging you to keep going and healing and growing and doing what you're doing in your specific life, get away from these people, man. Get away from this. They're a stumbling block. They're being accessed and used by the enemy because they want to see you, like I said, in misery like they are. In the bucket. The crab in the bucket mentality, man. I, I went over this time and time again. If you don't know about it, look into it. You got a bunch of crabs in a bucket and when one tries to escape all the other crabs start pulling on his legs and his arms and trying to keep it in the bucket so it doesn't escape this is what it looks like for us as the chosen when you wake up you know and this is some things that, that i've experienced personally firsthand but i do want to give um you know more praise and honor and glory up to the most high like i said man he provided this place i'm here for a month storm is um you know healing up slowly but surely 
All glory and praises and honor to the Most High, man. Let this inspire you. Let this motivate you, right? Remember what Matthew says. Behold, he feeds the fowls of the air, the birds, the bees, the insects. How much more will he provide for you, especially when you are in a place of obedience and you take back, you know, you understand your birthright. You understand the, the promises of God. You understand the dominion you have when you are in an obedient place with the Most High, when you are submitting to his will. That should just encourage you, hopefully, and motivate you to go out and do what you're supposed to do out here, man. Not everybody's going to be a content creator. Not everybody. Hey, if that's what you feel like you, you're called to do, step out and do it and cut anybody off. You got to learn how to have a cutoff game that is sharp. Let the word of God start chopping these snakes' heads off in your life, man. They're not supposed to be around you anyway. The only reason why they're there is to keep you at a certain level so you don't elevate, so you don't level up. A lot of people take offense to you, you know, thinking outside the box. A lot of people are going to take offense to you just for just for simply thinking outside the box. You can have the idea like, man, I really want to start this business. Man, I really want to create some clothing. Man, I really like um, fashion. Oh, I like to make music. I like to play guitar. You know, I like to paint. I like to whatever the case may be. And somebody can see that that doesn't, you know, um, like it and start to try to sabotage you. You got to get away from all these folks. And the way that I, it was revealed to me was through my prayer life. The closer I got to God, the more that I continuously seeked his face, that's when he started to reveal things to me. He started to reveal people's true intentions and motives to me because I began to understand the word and I started to see things spiritually, more spiritually than carnally, right? So I just pray that this motivates you, man. Y'all say a prayer for your brothers out there. Say a prayer for your sisters. Say a prayer for yourself. Smash the like button down below and you already know what it is. Until next time, man, I love you. I'm out.